Hi. Okay, so this is going to be about a video that I wanted to make for a while, but I never really felt there was really a time to make it. You don't want to come towards someone in a negative way if no one's coming at you. You know, it just seems out of place. Generally, for me, I don't really have much issue regarding this, mostly. I mean, honestly, let's be real. Yes, we do have issues in real life with people who are unattractive, basically, hitting on you, and things of that nature, and them being undesirable. The difference is, for me, the reason I complain about black men doing it more than I had complain about white men doing it is because white men, usually in my experience, don't freak the heck out as much. Like, they just kind of, like, will suck over there and have hurt feelings or whatever. You know, they handle it, they deal with it however they deal with it. I don't even care how they deal with it, but they deal with it. Black men, on the other hand, they're coming at you basically with a gun. <laughs> Like, they're coming after you because you don't want to give them your number, because you don't want to, you know, um, talk to them. On the other hand, it's kind of, like, different, you know. I feel like this is a good reason to talk about this. First off, I want to get off saying, you know, I hear too many times white people expecting Spoilers and divesters to just grovel and, like, be subservient. I'm sorry, I am not the type. That's just not my type. Um, when we think of race and we think of identity and who I think is better, honestly, I honestly think, supported by science, that white people... Um, I don't want to say that they're bad or that there's anything negative with them, but I, how do I say this? I'm happy with what I have, okay? I'm happy with what I have, and, you know, if we really think in reality when we talk about, like, animals and things of that nature, who is more human? Like, in reality, we know that black people are technically more human. No. I'm not saying white people are the least human. There are other people with much more Neanderthal genes and other subhuman genes in them than white people. But I'm just saying, when we're talking about things of race, of course I never feel inferior because it's just a fact. I can't help it. I can't help my genes. I can't help my blood. I can't help my ancestry, you know? I really can't. And I don't have any issues with that. I mean, it's a good thing that I'm all human and some people aren't. The thing is that I wanted to also talk about here is people, like I said, constantly think. And this that's a part of it. You know, people thinking that, you know, you're a divester or you're a swirler, that you think white is better than you. And it's like, no. I literally spent 12 years fighting white people on race and things of that nature. I have. I've put them down as foreigners, as other things. Uh, foreigners, the whole Neanderthal thing, a lot of other things like economic success, because I'm Nigerian descent, um, education, things of that nature. I do not see white people as basically in, like superior to me. I wouldn't understand how I could. If anyone understands where I grew up and what I've seen with white people, white people coming from sewers, um, white people living in really horrendous situations, you know, um, basically, you know, the whole situation where I talked about that live on Jessica X was actually about white men, white men that I was um, a co-worker to, I, I didn't date them, but I've had a lot of different situations where I know that white people aren't better than me. So coming at me like that is stupid because at the end of the day, I feel like more so you're feeling inferior and upset that I don't look up to you. And I never will 
I grew up in a family that is more of a black supremacist family. The difference is, is that my mother is more of the mindset of, she has a quality that sees white people, in a sense, their phenotype is not the most ideal. That's how I was taught, was that white people had a phenotype that isn't the most ideal. And if you think of it, this is probably why I feel a way I feel about the next thing I'm going to talk about, basically. So, to me, I was taught, you know, different features that they have, like the brow ridge and some other features, like the jaw, the cheekbones. Albeit, you know, I have said what I said about the brow ridge and things of that nature, but also I was taught that those are simian features. So kind of technically, I was taught that they look like apes, but I was raised around them so long that I became desensitized. So, I mean, you you mean to ask me? To feel inferior to someone who I think looks more simian like. Someone that I've seen many of its kind come through sewers. Someone that is of that same caliber. To see them as above me? How? How am I supposed to see basically someone who is um, PWT? I don't know if we can say the real definition of that. as better than me. Like, my mother literally taught me to see them as less than me. I know a lot of people from the hood, black people from the hood, kind of see them as their equal because they come from the hood. But you have to remember, from my perspective, I didn't come from an environment like that. I came from a middle class, working class neighborhood, basically. And my family, my mother's family, both of her parents were from middle class families. I think one was lower middle class, the other one was middle class. Then you go up higher in generations, they're actually upper class. The upper class family looks down on the middle class family because they're just like the average Joe middle class family. But anyway, um, so point is, you know, in my mom's family, that's how we are basically taught to look down on those who are basically, in our view, trash. And it has nothing to do with your skin tone. I think you got confused and you thought that skin tone had to do with being trash or not. No, your, your skin tone won't stop you from being trash. Skin tone, I mean, your white skin tone doesn't stop you from coming from a sewer, living in um, a trailer park, living on the streets, being addicted to meth. Like, I see very lowly white people in my town. We don't really see lowly black people. I don't know why. And that's the thing to think about. I mean, I saw some black people thinking like there's such a thing as white privilege. In this city, where is the white privilege if all the people, all the bums in our city are basically white? Like, we don't have black bums that much. I mean, we might see a few here and there, but mostly they're white bums what it is um so i mean and i've lived in other cities too i've lived in reno and i've lived in the midwest and i've had the same experience the reason i've had the same experience in the midwest was because we had black people and we had a hood in our town but my mother would never go there she was too scared of those people um the thing about white trash is this oh I wasn't supposed to say that, but I did. Oh, well. Um, it's this. You guys can feel better about something in order to basically get past the fact that you're less than. The way I was taught was that you guys basically have a security blanket. So you can feel good about being white. But at the end of the day, you still have everything else in your life really messed up. I, I don't really see how that's a benefit in my perspective. You have to remember, I wasn't taught that white skin was better. 
And this gets into my last part of this video. I was always taught that white people, their skin tone wasn't so beautiful, okay? I wasn't taught that they were nice looking, okay? I was taught that you can see beauty beyond their skin tone. But their skin tone is not pretty. It's weird. It's creepy. And how come we can see through your skin? It's almost like you don't have skin. If something's not right there, that is just my perspective. Um, and this is a major reason why I say in another video, I haven't posted it yet, that I used to actually clown white men and black men for how they look down there. Because white men don't look so nice down there, in my opinion. But, you know, it kind of got better, I think, uh, when I got sexually active. But, yeah, that was a thing I used to do. I used to clown both sides. Um... And I've said this before, my preference is the middle, so, I mean, you acting like white people are the goal, I mean, no, white people are just all around, and so sometimes you choose them, because they're all around, and they're, they're, one, they're all around, one, they're always, you know, interested, so why not? Like, why not? Especially if there's a way to find them attractive, but, this is the thing. I'm not attracted to white men, and I don't find white people attractive for being white. In fact, the way I see it is, I see it as, like I said, they have to be a little bit more attractive to be attractive, in my view. This is why, for me, I've never been into a man who's a four or a five like you. And... I don't even think you're a five. I think you're a four. Uh, I have a photo here, as you can see. It's a four point something. Um, it might be close to a five. But I don't like men who are fives. I am, might like a man who's a six if he is um, of mixed ancestry, Hispanic ancestry. There are plenty of people who are in the middle who aren't black, who aren't white who are six or sevens, and I find them attractive. I It would be hard to find a man who's a five, let alone a four, attractive as Hispanic. A white person, I'm not even looking at him if he's a seven, being completely honest. I don't do that, because the reason why is because he's got to kind of be an eight in order to overcome his whiteness, in my opinion. Otherwise, I'm not going to be attracted to him. That's why I said before, when I shared my video, um, of the kind of guys I like, I said specifically, lighter guys, in my opinion, have to be more attractive in order to be attractive, because I don't like the fact that they have white skin that much. Now, the white skin isn't bad, per se, it's just a damper on their attractiveness. It's not like their skin tone is ugly, I'm not going to say that. Um, I, I think it's mean to say someone's skin tone is ugly. To say that their skin tone is the least preferred of all skin tones yes very much so um but the point is as you can see i could never be with a man who has your attraction lack of or lack of level however we want to say this you know you have a level of four on a scale of ten one to ten I don't understand how you can expect someone double the attractiveness you have, an eight, without makeup and my natural hair, to be ever attracted to you. That's not really possible now, is it? No. I, I have a vital desire to not have ugly kids, okay? I have a vital desire not to honestly have kids that look very white either but that's another story like again you have to make it worth it you have to be attractive enough where sure the kids are going to be white but you, you got to be attractive you know you have to be undoubtedly attractive and so for me obviously there's no way i would be with a man who is a five on attractive level you can come for me all you want on money I don't care. I'm not the type that goes after men with a lot of money. I don't. 
I'm into a man who makes 30, 40,000 a year, you know? I make about, I think, 25 to 30,000 a year. So, I mean, I'm all right with that. I am. But on attractiveness, that's like asking me to be with a 300 pounder, dude. Of course, I'm not going to be with a 300 pounder. I'm only 100 pounds. And as far as me being in the dark, no. I'm trying to make sure people don't think that I'm trying to be light skinned. So I turn off the lights. Honestly, let's be real. Long ago, I used to actually keep the lights on. And it would be so bright. And people would be like, oh, you're bleaching. Oh, you're doing this. Oh, you're doing that. <laughs> Whatever. The point is, I have never pursued a man who was white and a five. I would never pursue a man who has obvious fat underneath his chin, as you do. And is obviously not of a shapely body, of a good size body as mine. Because what will that do to my kids? They'll end up looking all flappy and ugly, you know, and all unattractive. Like, that's not my type. I am strategic when I am attracted to a man. I also like certain facial features. The jaw has to be shaped a certain way with the cheekbones all of that makes a man and i'm sorry sweetie you don't make the cut there are way too many white men like you who are annoying and come and start chasing you and stuff and all this shit and i've always been like i'm not into that you know i'm just not attracted to that i'm not attracted to any white man a lot of diverse circles for us i admit Yes, many of them are attracted to all sorts of kinds of white men, but that's not my preference. For me, it's like I prefer someone who is, you know, actually attractive. And all the men that I've been with who were white, and like two of them were Hispanic. Um, they were models, actress, I mean actor, sorry. <laughs> he was girly though. <laughs> but um, actor, um, Things of that nature, people who are very good looking, okay? And yeah, none of them have like weird beer guts or extra kind of double chins and things of that nature. Uh, yeah, I like guys who are like, like either very skinny and like they have a very small waist, you know, and very thin, or they're somewhat muscular, but not too muscular, really. And no big butt, no hips, no thighs, none of that. Like, you have to be a T, shaped like a T. Broad shoulders, very narrow hips, no butt, very slim, muscular to some extent, where it's like you work out and you have like that six pack. Oh, yeah, that's my thing. But I'm not just out here looking for any white man. Like, come on now, please. As far as being settled down, I am... I am in my 20s. I do not have any interest in settling down with anybody. You guys keep trying to put your old 40-year-old standards on 20-year-olds. Get over it. You're over, you're over, way over my age. An old, old person who probably soon will be in a nursing home somewhere. So, from my perspective, it's like your ideals in your life to find a woman or whatever and settle down is your personal preference for your age range. I am not of that age range. It's like me trying to talk to a 13-year-old about graduating college. It's dumb. Obviously, they haven't even finished high school. So, talking about settling down, I don't really care. I'm a wild type, I am, really, honestly, right now. This is my have fun times, you know, go out and do my thing kind of thing. And that's my preference. But, like, I'm just saying, as far as you being angry or whatever, or the fact that you're not my type, and you're upset that, you know... You 
Oh, yeah, you were specifically upset originally because I filtered someone else's photo and made her look nice. I mean, well, you should really deal with the personal issues you feel inside. Because that's the main problem here, is that you get mad because you feel rejected. And maybe you should, I guess, feel rejected by women who are better looking than you. And then you get upset and try and be really angry at the fact that I made her even look nicer, you know. And it's like, you know, maybe you should just cope with the fact that you like someone who doesn't like you and is twice as attractive as you. Also, one other thing I have to come across with the whole thing about divesting and swirling. Yes, I'm divested. Yes, I'm a swirler. I do prefer the rainbow swirlers. That's just how I am. Um, I personally have always kind of saw myself as a rainbow swirler. The only thing is, is that people love to separate the biracials from the black people. When you separate the biracials from the black people, I basically have no attraction to black people. Every now and then I find a black man attractive because he looks like a biracial. So, yeah, like, from my perspective, that's why I consider myself a rainbow swirler, and I associate with rainbow swirlers. I really don't care what other people do, as long as they don't get angry at me. And as far as Miss Elite, she's fine. I, I've never had any issue with her. She's cool. So, yeah. That's basically all I have to say on that. Um, as you can see in the photos, uh, I've obviously doubled your attractiveness level uh, out of 10. You are four. You are four, slightly over four. I'm eight. And, uh. Yeah. I didn't even want to do that, but I mean, like, you asked for it. Here's the truth, baby. Oh, good luck. And maybe you can get your self-esteem out of the toilet. I don't know. Never had to be mean to someone uh, like this before. Usually you guys handle it within, ex in internally, instead of externally. <laughs> Funny. Alright, bye.